Hi, my name is Steve Cordero. I'm from Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. A few things you will need to create a chain installer on Mac OS X are Apple Xcode, specifically the auxiliary tools for Xcode with Package Maker, the post install shell script from the Enterprise Toolkit, a text editor that can do Unix compliant carriage returns. For this demonstration, I'll be using BB Edit. However, you can use any compliant editor. The Enterprise Toolkit is available on http colon forward slash forward slash www.adobe.com forward slash devnet dash docs forward slash acrobat etk forward slash index dot html. Now let's take a look at the post install shell script as I have it edited for this demonstration. And then we're going to take a look at also the post install shell script from the ETK. Here is the post install shell script from the ETK and this is actually for Acrobat 10. Now you'll notice that it has serialize Acrobat, suppress Acrobat EULA, and suppress Adobe ID dialog. Well with Acrobat 11 since we have the Adobe Customization Wizard, we don't need those. This makes it very simple for the script piece to occur. So let's take a look at the new script that I've edited down from the old script. So I've created a customized package and I kept the name the same as the actual deployed package for Adobe Acrobat 11. And so here it is and it's copying the installer package to the private temp location and then it's unzipping the zipped package and then it's also copying the updater package and unzipping the zipped package. Then it goes through the install and here's the install line for the Acrobat 11 Pro customized installer package that I created with the Adobe Customization Wizard for Macintosh. And then it's removing the installer folders. And then it tests to see if Acrobat 11 is installed or not. And it gives an error if it's not. And then it installs the update package. And here's the line for that. It removes the package. It tests if the package is installed or not and gives the appropriate feedback. And then it closes the functions of the shell script. Now it's time to create the customized package that we have for the updated piece. So we're going to open up Package Maker and create a new package. And we're going to give it a name beginning with com dot and then a name. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to call it com dot demonstration. And the minimum target is going to be Mac OS 10 version 10.5 Leopard, which is the minimum requirement. And we're going to say OK. And now we have an untitled package. The first thing we want to do is give the package a title. And we're going to call this demonstration. And then we're going to save that. File, save. And we need to save the demonstration. And again, we're going to call it demonstration. Save. And there it's on our desktop. Now, this is just the project for the package maker, it's not the build uh, package that will occur on the desktop when we finish. But let's move on. So the first thing we're going to grab is a customized package that I've already pre-created with the Adobe Customization Wizard. And there it is. Again, I, as I said before, I kept the name the same as the normal package that comes from the DVD or the downloadable package. And I've zipped the installer. The next thing I want to do is 
copy that zipped package to the new build package. I also want to copy the zipped updater package. And then I want to copy the post install shell script. So now I have all three items inside my new all-in-one package. We've got to do some configuration for this though. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the customized package that I created. And we're going to go to configuration and we're going to put the destination where the script is going to put it. So we need to go to destination, private, TMP, and that's our destination that's in the script. And then we need to go to the updater package and again put the same thing, which is private TMP. And then we go to the post install shell script and we put, you got it, private TMP. There is one additional step when we get to the post install shell script. We need to go to the scripts tab, go to the post install field, and go to the drop down and select choose, and then select the post install shell script from the desktop. Say choose. So now we have our package that is completely configured and it's ready to save. So let's save that once again. And then let's build the package. And yes, we are saving it as demonstration. And now we wait for it to build. Build succeeded. So let's close the package maker. And yes, we're going to save our changes. And the final step is to test our new installer. So let's do that. Welcome to the demonstration installer. Select a destination. We'll click continue and then install. And we need to provide our administrator password. And the installation begins. The installation was successful. So now let's check the installation. Go to the Applications folder. There's Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro. And let's launch. And let's check to make sure the update was successful. And there we have it. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.